Another helpful sketch tool in creating complex shapes is the parabola. I mentioned earlier that this was a difficult tool to use. Maybe difficult's not the best way to describe it. It just involves several steps, and for some people, that makes it difficult to control. Here's how it works. You begin by clicking to establish the center, or more accurately, the focus of the parabola. Next, you click to define the vertex, and then you click to begin the parabola. Now you move your pointer to draw out the shape and click once again to complete it. One more time. First, you click to mark the focus, then click again to mark the vertex. Next, you click to mark the beginning of the parabola, drag your pointer to draw out the shape, and click one more time to finish. Defining a parabola really depends on what you're trying to accomplish. One thing I would recommend is adding a center line from the vertex to the focus. This gives you a way of establishing a direction for the parabola, such as making the line vertical, and it provides a convenient place to add a dimension. This dimension will control how wide or narrow the parabola opens. Making use of the parabola even more intimidating to some users is a bug that exists as of SOLIDWORKS 2005 Service Pack 0.0. As you make changes to the dimensions that control parabolas, SOLIDWORKS has the bad habit of reporting invalid or unsolvable solutions. Your sketch will become yellow or red indicating there are errors. However, if you accept the dimension, the error will go away.